Let me bring Isabel. I mean, you know him very well. You wrote this book with him. Um, I just think he's a phony Hancock, and I think he's delusional, and I think he's desperately trying to reel off the hook, which, frankly, it seems more and more certain he is firmly implanted on. There was an extraordinary moment during the evidence today where Matt Hancock admitted that he and his department didn't even know how many care homes there are in England. Yeah. Uh, you would have thought that this was basic, but he admitted that the whole setup is so dysfunctional, there is so little coordination. Although his title is Secretary or was Secretary of State for Health and Social Care, yeah. he had the top responsibility for it, but actually didn't have a clue what was going on. There was a very, uh, it was a, a pretty grim, quite literally, uh, bit of footage when he left the inquiry and the Grim Reaper, literally, someone dressed as the Grim Reaper, appeared on the other side of the street. Watch this. I mean, pretty devastating imagery for Hancock. And frankly, I think he deserves it. I think his handling of this pandemic was absolutely disastrous. But the thing is that, that I, Matt I, Hancock absolutely that? believes that he did nothing wrong. I mean, one of the hardest things when I was working with him was to get him to admit that there were some failures. Uh, because you can't have a book which just says, I'm a hero and everything was brilliant. Uh, and he really struggled to come up with examples of areas where we got things wrong. Well, and exactly. well, he, well he can't because he's delusional. David, you want to come in there? Yeah, it's, it's, it isn't that we got things wrong. It was new and it happened across the world. We were watching France and Italy and elderly people in care homes die months, two months before it came across the water. What compounds it and what makes me still angry is that he lied, despite the facts. This is why your comment and my comment that is delusional. A delusion is a false belief that cannot be altered by reason or factual mm. evidence to the contrary. And he still does... He said he gets it. He doesn't get it. No. He doesn't get it. I completely agree. I, he was so arrogant, you know, in his pronouncements. There's a ring of steel. We've never been better prepared. None of it was true. And we now know from his own mouth in this inquiry, he knew it wasn't true. He hadn't got a clue about care homes or how safe they were, what sort of ring of steel there was, a protective shield, whatever the phrase was that he used. Um, look, there's going to be a he lot more coming... He signed off on the discharge of elderly into care homes, which everybody, every scientist had told him, don't push people into care homes. It's a breeding ground. Yeah, he did, and that caused masses of deaths. 20, 30,000 people died in care homes. Uh, Isabel, finally, you've had access to a lot of WhatsApp exchanges. There is a, a series of WhatsApps involving Matt Hancock, I think, from March, April, early in the mm. pandemic, which have just never materialised. Where are those? And it's really disappointing that he wasn't challenged on that during the exchanges today. Um, I, I still want to know what's happened to those messages because the missing messages, missing as far as I'm concerned, because they were not shared with no. me, are from March 2020, which is the key time for this particular module of the COVID inquiry, yeah. which is all about how prepared were we. We need to see those messages. Yep.